Just last month, Kevin O'Leary, one of the greatest investors today, described Bitcoin as a massive opportunity and announced that Bitcoin now makes up of 3% of its entire investment portfolio. Following the success of Bitcoin earlier this year, numerous Canadian ETFs have now been listed on Canadian markets. But how is it different than buying real Bitcoin and should you consider investing in a Bitcoin ETF? Hi everyone, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be explaining how Bitcoin ETFs work and what the pros and cons are of owning shares in a Bitcoin ETF compared to real Bitcoin. Also, I'll be comparing the two most popular Bitcoin ETFs, the Purpose Bitcoin ETF, also known as BTCC, as well as the Bitcoin ETF by Evolve Funds Group, EBIT. Before we get started, please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor and all the contents shared in this video are for entertainment and educational purposes only. You will be investing at your own risk. Please make sure you do your own due diligence and research before making any sort of investment decisions. Let's get right into it. So first things first, how does a Bitcoin ETF work? Well, it's actually quite simple. In general, an ETF, also known as an exchange traded fund, tracks and mimics the value of an asset or group of assets. Now, in this case, the Bitcoin ETF tracks and mimics the value of Bitcoin itself. According to Purpose Investments, which is a fund that manages BTCC ETF, when you buy shares of their ETF, well, they would then use that money to purchase Bitcoin. More specifically, the amount that they buy would depend on the net purchases of shares at the end of the trading day. One of the key differences between owning Bitcoin ETFs and Bitcoin is that when you own shares of the Bitcoin ETF, you technically don't actually own any real Bitcoin. So why would you even bother investing in a Bitcoin ETF rather than just buying real Bitcoin? Well, there are a few reasons that you might want to consider. The first thing is that because you don't physically own Bitcoin, you don't have to worry about storage. Now, when you buy Bitcoin or crypto on any crypto exchange, you have to decide whether to store your coins on an online or a hardware wallet. Most crypto exchanges such as Coinbase and Binance have their built-in wallets. And yes, it is very convenient, but they are never fully 100% secure, as there have been many cases where investors have lost their entire portfolio due to hacking and scams. A hardware wallet is much more secure. However, they are often very inconvenient and actually very expensive. Now, with a Bitcoin ETF, the fund that manages the ETF takes care of all of that for you, and therefore you don't have to decide between security and convenience. Also, since ETFs work the same way as stocks do, there are some things that you can do with stocks that you probably can't with crypto. With stocks, you can place them into a tax-free savings account, or a TFSA, and therefore it extends you from paying taxes on any capital gains. Say that you put your Bitcoin ETF shares in a TFSA, and Bitcoin grows a lot over the next years. Well, it will have similar gains to as if you've bought real Bitcoin. However, you'll be saving upwards of thousands of dollars from tax exemptions as you can't place Bitcoin and cryptos in general into TFSAs right now. While there are many benefits from the ETF functioning very similarly to stocks, however, there are many downsides too. For one, you're limited to trading stocks during market hours only, which is usually between 9.30am to 4pm Eastern Time on weekdays only. Bitcoin is extremely volatile right now, and therefore, if something happens outside of market hours, well, you can do nothing but wait until the stock market fully opens again. However, with crypto, you can actually trade 24-7. So now you know how Bitcoin ETFs work, and the pros and cons of buying that over real Bitcoin. Now, if you're looking for a Bitcoin ETF, you'll see that there's multiple options. So what exactly is the difference between Bitcoin ETFs? For this video, we'll be looking at BTCC and EBIT, which are the first two Bitcoin ETFs to be listed in Canada and are also the most popular options. By looking at their websites, we can do a bit of analysis by taking a look at the numbers. As of June 25th, their NAV or net asset value is $6.69 for BTCC and $15.56 for EBIT. Although EBIT has a higher share value, we need to look further than that to see their full story. With BTCC, each share is worth 0.00016849 Bitcoin and 0.000383 Bitcoin per share of EBIT. From doing a bit of math, we can see that you're paying at a rate of around $39,700 per Bitcoin for BTCC and around $40,600 per Bitcoin for EBIT, which is incredibly similar. Probably because those numbers were taken at different times of the day, and Bitcoin is very volatile right now. Although both these ETFs track the value of Bitcoin, the biggest difference is how they are measured. The net asset value of BTCC is calculated by the TradeBlock XBX index, which is a real-time index of Bitcoin. 
On the other hand, EBIT's value is calculated by the CME CF Bitcoin reference rate, which is a daily index. Although the exact changes in Bitcoin are measured differently, in the long run, they both track Bitcoin very similarly. So in the end, is a Bitcoin ETF a good investment for you? Well, I would say yes, assuming that you're a set it and forget it type of investor, as you can stash your Bitcoin ETF shares in a TFSA and avoid paying taxes on any capital gains. Still, you have to remember that the ETF carries the same level of risk as Bitcoin, and it is still a very high risk investment. So what do you think? Do you think Bitcoin ETFs are worth the buy, or would you rather stick with the traditional cryptos? Leave your answers in the comments below. As always, if you've enjoyed this video and felt that it gave you a lot of value, please smash the like button and support the channel by subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.